Hi, meteorologist John Dawson. This is the YouTube tropical forecast. Want to make sure that you are updated on what's happening out in the tropics because believe it or not, there's still some activity that the National Hurricane Center is keeping an eye on. And if you've been checking in with us during the last week, you know we've been talking about Wanda. Wanda was around since last Saturday around 10 p.m. is when they started issuing advisories on that. And as of Sunday morning, we're done with Wanda. It's now a post tropical system, basically meaning that the National Hurricane Center is done with it. No longer going to keep uh, uh, any more updates or advisories or forecasts on what Wanda will be doing. Uh, and it, just as we were talking about yesterday, if you checked in, uh, it had got it kind of absorbed into a front that was moving across uh, the Atlantic. And of course, as it continues to move to the north, now the winds, I'm sorry, the temperatures of the, of the water will also get cooler, kind of help to lose those tropical characteristics. The winds did not increase. It didn't quite get organized like we thought, but again, but continuing to fall apart. So that's going to do it for Wanda. And uh, if you'll remember, that's the last named storm that we have this year. We'll see if we get to use that supplemental list as things are definitely becoming a little bit quieter and the conditions are a little less favorable for that development. But you can see again where Wanda's located and really at this point getting a lot closer to Europe than it is uh, us folks over here in the United States. So speaking as us folks over here, Houston, of course, is where we're, we're located, where we're broadcasting from. We've had some fantastic weather for over the weekend and a day or so before that. Some of that drier air is still getting pushed in in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Remember, our water vapor imagery helps us uh, to know what's happening in the upper level. So down here at the surface, of course, is where we are and where we talk about most of the time, but whatever's happening up high also has impacts on us. And so that drier air filtering into the Gulf of Mexico, tropically speaking, is something that a tropical system doesn't want to have anything to do with. And so we're not looking for any sort of activity uh, in the in, in the Gulf for sure. Caribbean remaining fairly quiet as well, uh, and that high pressure that's at the surface, uh, more or less around Louisiana, is continuing to dominate our weather in southeast Texas, but also keeping things quiet in the majority of the Gulf from that uh, tropical sense, from that at the surface that we're talking about. Now, you'll notice just a little bit of a spin right here off of the coast of the Carolinas. That's going to be a low pressure system that the Hurricane Center is looking at somewhat, uh, and they're looking at it to continue to move away from from the US and kind of run along that same frontal boundary that reaches all the way over to where Wanda was. And as this low pressure does that, they're saying there is a possibility that maybe maybe it could develop a few more tropical characteristics and become a tropical system. So at the moment, again, this is more or less an upper level low. It is not a tropical system, but the longer it lingers around out here uh, and we're talking probably three to five days before it would do anything uh, and it kind of runs along that front, uh, things could start happening a little bit more at the surface. And I think the waters are still uh, warm enough that that's going to be able to kind of help it a little bit. Uh, as it continues to move out and further to the north, that's not going to be as supportive as far as the temperatures go. But I think at this point, the Atlantic uh, waters are still enough that it could and that's what the Hurricane Center is looking at and talking about the possibility that it would possibly develop into something tropical. So that would be the, really the only spot that we're looking at at the moment for another tropical system here in November. Uh, but as I think it's obvious, this movement is away from the US, so we would not look to have this to make any sort of impact uh, on a land mass, especially us uh, folks over here in the Gulf of Mexico or anywhere really along the East Coast for the US as far as uh, those concerns. So uh, again, that's something that, that obviously is, is good news if it were to become something tropical. So let me move out of the way here so we can get a little bit of a closer look at what's happening in November. Uh, and if you'll look, once we kind of get into November and you got to look pretty close, but there's just a little bit of a peak here where we were, we've been headed downhill for most of November and then there's just a little bit of a, of, a, of a rise there before the bottom really drops off and heads down and south. And that's because of those fronts like that that we were looking for. And right where those fronts are, this is typically where we would find activity if we see it late in November like this. And again, it's 
typical that if something forms, it, you know, it heads out into the Atlantic and not necessarily toward the US. So everything kind of on track as far as seasonal forecasting and seasonal expectations, I should say, uh, on what's going to be occurring uh, with the rest of November. So we'll keep you updated here on YouTube. We're checking in every day, a little bit after 4 p.m. So check back if you're not subscribed to the Fox 26 YouTube channel. Feel free to do that to get those updates. Of course, there's other other uh, posts besides just weather. Uh, and if you'd like some more information about preparations for hurricane season, look for my YouTube channel. That's the best way to find that is a meteorologist. John Dawson is the way you'd search for that. I'm going to leave a comment below though. So if you'll just look at the comments below, you'll see my comment and it'll be quick and easy just to click and follow and quick and find my channel and you'll be able to follow that. And then of course, if you want to follow me on some other social media, that'd be great to connect as well. You can find me at John Dawson Fox 26.